So why play in the classroom? You know, people that play together learn and work better together. When we take a few minutes to play with our students, not only do we feel better and our kids feel better, we actually prime our kids' brains to be more ready to learn. We also set the stage for a joyful, safe, and enjoyable classroom climate where relationships are prioritized. When people play together, they experience something called emotional resonance. And simply put, emotional resonance occurs when people's brains are in sync in a positive way. The fastest way to experience it is through laughter. And the fastest way to laugh together is through play. Now, this becomes particularly important when students are under a lot of stress or experience difficult conditions in their personal life. And of course, it's important to give students skills and enough time to experience their difficult emotions in a healthy way. But it's also important to remember that positive emotions are actually more contagious than negative emotions. And taking time to play games like that in groups with your students can actually help students feel an uplift from the group dynamic. Furthermore, positive psychology such as Barbara Fredrickson found that when people are elicited with positive emotions through play or through being heard or getting a hug, they actually become more creative. They're more accepting of other people's opinions and they want to learn more things. You know, they become more curious. Further research suggests that people who are happier are actually more productive, they're healthier, and they take more intellectual risk. Now, there is a lot that goes into helping people feel authentically happier. And games alone, of course, don't let people feel you know, authentically happier long term. However, they go a long way towards creating a climate of joy, care, and creativity in the classroom and to get our students to be more ready to learn.